Mr. Anuma and Bell kind of looked around the uh, bottom of the temple. So now I'm going to go up and see how the world will look like. Yeah. It should be noted that the first time I found this temple, I tried to climb up the other side where there's no ladder and oh, I yeah. fell and I died. Yeah, so I the, like, didn't know there's another. You, <laughs> you did that and you felt so proud of yourself. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and it was only later you walked around and was like, oh, ladder. <laughs> uh. Yeah, well, the game is encourages you to climb. What can I say? I figured I was doing the right thing. <laughs> Have to be careful. Betty. Ah! <laughs> no! We already had Bill set himself on fire. That is Sorry. true. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think it's. <laughs> that means we have to ramp thing. it up now. We're just gonna. We have to beat him. I think on, on the glorious death row. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then I'm just gonna go up. Challenge accepted. I think I, ooh, ooh, this is my favorite moment. When I go up to the peak. I can actually see the sun coming up. Yeah, it's oh, it's kind of so scary amazing. actually how many times I've done that playing early builds of this game where you just sort of. We want to get to high spaces so you can just look around um, different times of day, different weather, you know, just oh, yeah. the, the scenery is so fantastic. That's it's interesting how much it changes, and especially here since we don't have any control as we're showing this game off to what the weather's going to do, so it's it's nice right now that we've got a good scene to show people, <laughs> but it could foggy. just easily be raining. Yeah. And so since this is an exploration <laughs> uh, segment, I kind of want to, uh, you know, try to explore a lot, hmm? and then I'm going to try to head toward the highest peak in this plateau, which I think is that thing. Yes. So I'm going to use the scope. Let's see, so using the scope, you can actually pin things so you can see where you're heading toward. So right now, I'm on right here, and I can, I'm trying to go to the Mount Hylia, the highest peak on this plateau we're on. And it's crazy thinking this is just the plateau that we have visible here, but there, this is a tiny portion mm -hmm. of the world. Yeah, yep. this is how big the world is. Having uh, having that the topographical details on the map too are hugely important. It's like when you when you look at it when you're sitting there staring at your map and trying to figure out how to get somewhere, you can see obviously if you have huge elevation gains that you have to get over, planning your route becomes really important. Yep. And just for the Treehouse Live, uh, Mr. Anuma gave us a very oh, special yeah, right. quote. <laughs> so so cool. we can actually use the paraglider in this one. So I'm going to try to take the scenic route. You're going in the drink. Oh. You're going in the water. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Are you going to make it? Maybe. I will make it. I will make it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, wait. There's something here. Is Resources. Shiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually one thing I found really useful about being able to plan your location before you actually get going because the number of times I've gotten away late by collecting stuff or hunting or I'm yeah. totally off of where I intended to go and then I can check and be like, oh yeah, I, I was supposed to go over there. I should, yeah. I should get back to that when I'm done collecting stuff. No, that happens all the time, like every nook and cranny. I mean, it's not, it's not like you're going to find, you know, this incredible sword around every nook and cranny, but there's always <laughs> something. It's like whether it's an apple or it's something that you're going to use later on. There's just there's stuff, there's secrets everywhere, so yep. you get really distracted. <laughs> and I collect everything I see. I feel like I just saw Bill doing a naked speed run down this <laughs> path. Like, <laughs> luckily we're going a different route. He went down the path. We're going up. Yep, we're going to the different direction. Oops. So this is actually the um, peak or the cliff. Link first come out from the resurrection cave, I think. That's where it was, I think. Yeah. And he came up right here. Hey, in case anybody's wondering too, because we obviously just went through Mr. Anuma's section. The, the first time you pick something up, it it stops in ten, tells you what it is. But mm -hmm. thereafter, if you pick up the same item, you're not going to get interrupted with sort of that little text bubble telling you what it is. You yeah, just pick yeah. it up and just keep rolling. Okay. So my uh, destination is actually, actually behind me, uh, but I'm going to try to go around this cave and do some climbing and jumping. <laughs> <laughs> I love to do that. It's so interesting how with this game, so much of it is being able to take your adventure into your own hands, yep. do whatever you want to do, go where you want to go. Yep. And starting the game, one of the first things you can do you just run yourself Don't off, dive off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally did that. Yeah, yeah I found I've made, a, I've made many entertaining mistakes as I've been exploring, and I've gotten a little maybe over-enthusiastic. <laughs> but, I mean, somebody could have, instead of going down that path, as the game sort of gently guides you to do, somebody could have just taken a left out of that cave and come right up here if they wanted to. Yep. And then they'd get in you trouble. You decided probably. what to do. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh Chico, come on. Oh, really? I missed him. Uh, Chico, it should be gone. noted. For those of you guys who are watching... <laughs> Chico likes to shoot everything that moves, <laughs> but you don't have to do that. Of course, obviously, if you, there are 
Um, you can survive and, and play this entire game without hunting and innocent animals like Chico. Well, well no, and, and bad animals. Bad that animals. I'm an animal lover, so, you know. <laughs> Girls gotta eat. And actually, this is something that folks probably noticed uh, during the Aonuma mm. uh, segment that um, uh, this area is really taken over by Bacoblins, so you have to be really careful as you're running around these hills. Like that there are one? all these little encampments that you can run across, and yep. depending on which direction you come at them from, you could be climbing from the other way, crest that hill, and suddenly you're smack in the middle of this camp. Yeah. They These guys are, have a really sweet camp. Yeah. Look at the view from that camp. That is where I would camp. And they have meat. I want meat. Nice roll. <laughs> so much for their peaceful oh. camping. Ah, oh, you missed it. Oh. Oh. You got their attention, though. Wait, 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 wait. That's all right. They're stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're not. They might just they're like, like, that was just an exploding grasshopper. <laughs> yeah, it just went over there and blew up. Oh. Nice roll. Oh, it's close. Maybe oh. not. Oh. I think there's a really I think you got, yeah, you got a good taking it. Oh, man. Chico's just taking kidding. it in her own hand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Ah, I wanted to get them oh, before they get the weapon. But... Oh, uh -huh. oh, oh, he went over the side. <laughs> Chico, come on. What? I'm just trying to. These get dudes are chilling. Meat. They're like, we got our permit. We got our giant hunk of meat. We're gonna have yeah. a little camp. Yeah. Oh, they were looking look forward to such meat. a good time. No, they're right? they're bad. They're bad look, creatures. Look, 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 look at this giant meat. Yeah, it's you gotta, glistening. You gotta grab that. Yes, I have. It looks so delicious. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Oh, seared. Yeah, would have been a good meal for him. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I will enjoy it for them. Finders <laughs> <laughs> keepers. They're no longer here, so Dude, it's all Chico's. And now you're going to burn their their stuff. That's yep. good. <laughs> sort of a make sure. Ha ha. You oh, can yeah, set fire on that. Thing. Oh, there might be something in there. Maybe. I should wait. <laughs> yeah, it's so interesting when we saw the um, uh, that rolling issue we were having over that crest ah. there, but. Uh, you really have to take physics in, into account oh, yeah. whenever you're doing oh, anything in this look, game. Look at that. There's something more. Oh, yeah, go down there. It's going to have a really real effect on what's going on. Stuff everywhere. Yeah. So these are, this is ore. Um, you can, uh, of course, whale on this. You could also blow it up. Um, various oh, minerals right. and yeah, other yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should do that. You got to save easier. that axe. It's like, you might need that. <laughs> Maybe a square bomb. Wait. Uh, wait, I have to change it. Okay. So there are two different types of uh, remote bomb in this one. And the square one is much easier to just keep it in place. Oops, why won't do it? And the spheres unfortunately were all the shadows. Oh, oh. 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 The big old cloud just went overhead. Actually, can we look up for a second? I just want to see if that cloud's... Yeah, hold on. It might have been a Zeppelin. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's no Zeppelins in this game. No. <laughs> just weather, I think. Oh, it's fast. It's good. I was a little worried a storm was rolling in <laughs> and everything was going to start getting all slippery. And There's another camp navigate. over there. So one of the different things about this game is that uh, many of the Bokoblins are actually leaving the camp instead of just scattering yeah. around. Yeah, that's that's true. You you kind of you'll run into obviously you run into some an monsters that are just sort of wandering the oh, environment, yeah. but they actually have their own little communities. Mm -hmm. They'll gather in camps and yep. just having fun just until thing comes over. Kind making their, their evil plots. I like Chico showing right here right now. It's that you have all this environment to explore mm -hmm. and at your own pace, and you can just climb everything and just try to investigate 